patients and surgeons, but like this technology spans far beyond just uh, medical. So um, the the engineering sector and uh, military as well have um, shown a lot of interest in in sort of different uses of this uh, type of technology. Architecture, that sort of thing, is a is another good example. The, not many people even know that this sort of technology exists right now. So getting it out anywhere, be it in the, the lobby of a hotel or uh, in a, a fancy shop window, anything where more people would be, have a chance to just walk past this and be able to, to see this in action. I think that also in terms of heritage and museums and so forth, there could yes. be some really good applications there. Because again, it's this kind of uh, easy, passive um, interaction with three-dimensional uh, you know, objects and so forth. Absolutely. Also. Do you think that there's something to do with the way that the the that are we are geared as you know humans to be able to understand things in three dimensions? That removing the requirement to translate it from two D into three D in your mind makes it easier to follow. Absolutely, um, there have been studies where um, people have been shown to be able to not only uh, remember but recall the data or information faster when they've been able to see it in three D in the first place, be that uh, medical anatomy or something like uh, a map. We're, we're designed to, to see the world in 3D, so when it's presented to us only in 2D, there's a lot more that our brain has to uh, compensate for in order to, to help us understand it.